Okay, real quick, real quick. Here's our new tensioner. Yes, uh, the 12 millimeter bolt goes through here. When installing this thing, now it goes like this. Yes, the 12 millimeter is on the bottom. Yes, the pulley will be on your left hand side because it's facing the vehicle like this. Okay, now I put Loctite, not Loctite, anti seize right there yes not at the tip of the barrel because i don't want it to go and catch get stuffed up here all right so i put it here reason being the rust accumulates right here yes so by doing that putting the anti seize there Stop the rust, the bolt from seizing due to rust, the snapping, thinking of the man that may have to replace this after. Alrighty, alright. Finally, so we have our Allen key in and our 12 millimeter in. Yes, we're gonna tighten this up and slowly wave our way up back together. Now you can tighten your alley. Not too much. When it stops, you stop. Okay. Now we are going to be removing this idler pulley here. I believe it is a 14. Now, in removing it, we want to make sure hold the pulley, hold the pulley in your hand with the bolt intact. Turn it upside down. Okay, now if there is any washers that's on there that needs to come off, you will see it. It doesn't fall out your hands. Okay. Alright. The guys next door are pressure washing the building, so you may hear a lot of distortion. But remember what I was saying about the washer. So I removed the bolt and I noticed it just came out by itself. Wasn't convinced. If you saw it in a previous video, these little spacer things, be careful. Yeah, the bolt don't just come out by itself. It needs a washer or a spacer to go under. Now, one of the things that I observed is look at the difference. You see it? It is the same size, yes. Just that our surface here uses one of these that goes in the center. Our new one doesn't use it. So it's just straight to the pulley. Now, if you're not convinced you would Put them on if when it's tight if this section is rubbing against anything you need to put a spicer on the back side to bring it out where to say that it will be better aligned with the rest of the pulleys okay all right he's on as you can see i could spin it freely it's tight now this is your water pump pulley i'm going to show you because now we're gonna install back our fan and the shroud and the belt, but it works in a sequence, okay? Follow me here, follow me. All right, I'm gonna put my belt back on. We're gonna start on the passenger side. 
which is our scale. Now you have a bunch of holes and stuff in there, but yes, but be sure to get it on your power steering fully. Make sure it's sitting top and bottom. Okay, now we need to work them over the pump. Okay, it comes over to our idler. Okay, under the AC compressor. Yes, comes back over to our water pump. Yes, under water pump to crank. Now, I am making sure all these things are sitting properly. Yes, and I'm working my way all the way to the tension. Alternator is in. Now the only piece that's left is our belt head. Okay, the belt is sitting. Now you're gonna notice the water pump is going to move around because the fan is not attached. Okay, so what you wanna do is this. You're gonna wanna put the belt on. You do, but keep in mind the fan is not on, so that pulley is going to move around. You can put two of the 12 millimeter bolts back on there, but you're gonna have to put a washer between it so that it fills up the space of the where the fan would have taken up. The bolt, the nut, will not hold it back without a washer on there. Okay, okay. I have the belt routed. I have the on there. I took the belt off the water pump. I'm gonna extend. I'm gonna put it up the off the pump. Putting the belt back on. Reason why we took it so that it will keep the water pump pulley in place while we put the fan back on. Yes, the belt is on. Alright, let's put our shroud back in and put the fan. Remember your direction, the reservoir is up top. Put the shroud in, put the fan in, and work your way down. Stay clear of obstacles, yes. Now, when you get to this point, you wanna locate your, once you come underneath the neck, you wanna locate your you could, you could put your fan on, but you also want to locate where the bottom of your fan shroud goes. You can't hold the fan in place and do so at the same time. So, 112, try to catch one of the bolts on the top. Get a few good threads in there. You're not going to be able to turn it, so try to catch another 12 millimeter on the fan. As I said, you won't be able to turn it, but you just want to catch wherever it is it that you could possibly catch to keep the fan in place while you properly fix the fan shroud. Yes. Now, it has little grooves on the bottom that they fit into. Not very complicated. Just make sure that the bottom is in, tug on it. If you tug on it and it moves, it's not in.
once your fan shroud is in place, catch your 10 millimeters. You don't have to tighten them, but don't forget them. Now I am a very uh, forgetful person. <laughs> your best bet this way you don't have to worry about it all right now you have to catch your other two 12 millimeter fan nuts yes now your shroud is in you don't have to worry about that that's good but you have to catch those other two 12 millimeter bolts and tighten them up okay so you cannot turn it now you would either have to turn the motor to bring it up on the other side or you could use your extension your 3 8 long yes let's pretend we're going to take the belt back off yes just remember you don't want it to take it off you're not taking off the belt you just want to apply the pressure off of it where you can spin the fan around where you can get the other two bolts. Okay? Did not disturb the belt, didn't move it, no need to touch it. That's number three, and here will be number four. Now I am using my 12 millimeter long ratchet ended wrench. I can see three of them right here up front. Yes. Just tighten them to snug. You're gonna notice that it's cockeyed. So you're gonna that's why is it that we just wanna tighten them to snug. Once surface has mated and it is flush, then we could start to the tightening procedure. Okay. Now that you have tightened to snug, and when I say snug, if the wrench can move your fan, it's tight, yes? So, all three up top here is tight, because I can move the fan, all right? So what you wanna do is take your 12 o'clock and turn it, where to say that, and you keep turning until your one exposed bolt that is loose is visible. Now you can tighten that and to ensure that it's tight all you have to do is just to spin it until you see the fan comes around. Don't tug, just push. And that's tight. Okay, let's put our holes back on. And that is your serpentine belt, belt tensioner, and idler pulley. All right, all right. We're going to fill our radiator holes. We're filling up our radiator here all wrapped up and yeah she looked like let's fire this bad boy up and see what happens shall we all nuts and bolts are tight Okay, 
that's it for our tundra. Um, this is Exodus at Exodus Automotive. I thank you for watching. I deeply appreciate it. And I'll see you in a few minutes. Have some breakfast. Take a break. You must be tired of seeing my face. I'll see you in a few minutes.